You're not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe this. tell you what guys right now this is fly fisherman brutality here in north texas it's not the wind it's the heat it's not the heat it's the wind conditions crazy i'm on lake ray roberts we'll show you some previous footage guys we'll meet you back at the fly bar and give you a full update on conditions in texas fly fishing and fly fishing news you might be surprised there's always news about fly fishing in the great state of texas I, can you tell i'm kind of worn out the boat ride was like a killer man i don't think i've got any kidneys left anyway let's go back look at some footage and then go back to the fly bar where it's nice and hot later dudes all right, you gotta go when you gotta go. It's just like going in the bathroom sometimes. Sometimes you get wet <laughs> when you're old. Anyway, we're out here on Lake Ray Roberts. I took a, took a brief moment of my time away from doing all the things that I have to do to come out here and do what I wanna do, which is so, it's so rare. It's so rare that I get to do what I wanna do right now. Hey, money, 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 money. Anyway, we're out here prospecting for bass. It's raining, so I'm gonna put on a Wakanda Clouser. You know where to find those. Find those on my website. Anyway, um, it's uh, challenging conditions, should we say today? But that's part of what I do is go out and get challenged so I can come back and tell you all about it, guys. So here we go. If that rain is not going to last long, got a little swirl right there. It might be a tornado, but what? Who cares? This is Texas. We're used to the tornado. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Just a little bit of rain. You won't get wet. Come here. Come here, little guy. Just a little bit of rain. You will not get wet. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this wet thing. No, I'm talking about the fish, man. Not me. Huh? Not bad, huh? Beautiful. And he's staying wet, by the way. Oh, he's just right over the hill. Woo! <laughs> it's raining, folks. Hi guys and welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing and News Report. Obviously we're not on the fly bar as you can see because it's too damn hot out there. I've got a window that's about this big where the sun's right so I don't have sun shining in the fly bar and <laughs> by the time that window is, is open it's 100 degrees on the bar so it's too hot outside. I have a couple of places to tell you about that are showing some good fly fishing right now and I look at a couple of great new products that I make right here in Denton, Texas and Fish Camp North. But let's start with the painful truth about the big calm water fly fishing right now, right now here in North Central Texas. You can tell my voice is gone from the heat. Lake Ray Roberts Dam flow has finally been almost completely cut off and I ran into a YouTube fisherman uh, guy, he's DFW Fly Fishing, I'll put his link in here, uh, and he said that I was wrong, which I don't mind being wrong, you know, but he said I was wrong about the hybrids that they did show up back in the spring, early summer when the flow first started. 
Well, that flow is finally over with. I went down there, I rushed up there today expecting to uh, see buffalo swimming around and uh, no, no, and he wasn't catching anything either. He caught a couple of greenies, green trout, but that was about it for him. So I'm gonna dedicate a video to that conversation and what this guy said to me about hybrids at the dam at Ray Roberts. There's a little ones getting through. That's your hint. So we're in the suffering stages of summer. You know I've got a script right here. Script right here because I've got to stick to the script unlike uh, some politicians we know. Um, so I just got back back from uh, Ray Roberts and uh, we're here in mid-August and we're suffering pretty heavily from the heat. If it's not the wind these days, it's the heat. And both of those have knocked many, many days off my calendar in August already. As you can see, I even took off to fly fish in the rain the other day. I was out in the rain and guess what? Take a look. Caught some fish in the rain on Lake Ray Roberts. But the fish I see the most of right now on Ray Roberts is gar. There's gar everywhere gulping air. So if you like gar and they're biting and they're eating, they'll chase a fly. If you like gar, now is the time of the year to get you some gar action. The video has been coming a little slow because it takes so much time to drive to locations. I've been up to uh, Texoma, didn't do anything there. Uh, I've got to get down. I had a survey out on the on the uh, board for uh, where where you would want me to go, and some. <laughs> got weighted down for going down to Possum Kingdom Lake, which is like the furthest away of all the selections from where I live. So anyway, that's that. I'll get there eventually as soon as it cools off. I'm not going to drive down there for a two-hour window of, of fishing before it gets too hot. If you're following along with TexasFlycaster.com, that's the website. Man, I hope you read some because there's a great multi-multi-post story on how TPWD stocks and, and their, their, the evolution of them stocking uh, lakes in north central Texas, both the Piney Woods region and the Prairies and Lakes region, and with comment and response from TPWD scientists and biologists. And, uh, and it's very, very interesting to me because uh, Ray Roberts is notoriously understocked with fish. And uh, it's, this is no different now than it has been in the past. Um, this, this whole thing is going to wrap up uh, with me kind of coming out and saying, it's about 75% complete series, and the last 25% will be about me ranting about uh, a new way of thinking of stocking lakes all over Texas. And it's called... It's, it's called magnetic lakes and what are magnetic lakes and what is their effect on fishermen in Texas. The concept of stocking lakes for their proximity to large human populations, the consequences of continuing to stock lakes with the old magnetic concept of freshwater lake stocking is what it says here. But what I'm telling you is this is a new concept that uh, is a holistic approach to stocking lakes in Texas based on population and of course they can overlay their biology uh, and uh, habitat over that. If you have been with my channel right, and the writing Texas Flycaster for a while you know that another part of the stocking thing is my opinion on stocking rainbow trout in Texas in winter. What a waste. What a waste. The emphasis is only to get kids out to fish and what happens is old men go out there and catch very proudly catch uh, rainbow trout and uh, it's kind of kind of a non-starter and never has been they should be doing something differently although I'm not going to say what there are pl two places really that are coming up constantly on the fly fishing uh, radar here in north central Texas and they're not here in north central Texas. One is the Brazos River where I've seen constant and very good action for carp and buffalo consistently. And the other one is I went to, but I didn't even get to cast an anger. <laughs> Denison Dam apparently does have some striper action. You know, I, have, I love the fact that you guys watch, listen, and, and definitely go prove me wrong. Do it 
all the time. Please prove me wrong any chance you get because I love being wrong because then I go fish and catch fish. It helps. It helps. Believe me. Remember that uh, this is not a flood release that's going on over there, but it's an electricity generation. And they're generating electricity because it's so hot and they need electricity for all your air conditioners. The big upside to both of these spots is you got to get wet to fish them right most apparently I, I i was dry when i was over myself but i could see they're fishing the um they're fishing over at denison dam when the, the release is stopped which is very unusual and it's against my thinking completely but after the flow is stopped apparently the fish are settling down into holes there and they are catchable that would be striper nice size striper like 24 inches as for tpwd's report on thursday they have a few noteworthy spots for fly fishing only one lake reports excellent and you remember i've been talking about this lake for months now cedar creek lake apparently still has not let up so check that one out on the coast my friends on the coast say the water levels are low on the inshore and that uh, makes things tough all the way around and the heat is high so there's only one place that shows a, a good report and that's bolivar that's up north that's up north near galveston so you take the ferry over if you if that's the way you come from and uh, bolivar peninsula and bolivar apparently has fish all over it uh, with bait so you know you got to keep that in mind you you know fly is going to be a lot tougher but it can be done it's just not sight casting and when it comes to salt we're headed towards a full moon call it the sturgeon moon how about a moon named after a fish the sturgeon moon on the 19th so get ready for that sturgeon moon and i bet you didn't know there was a sturgeon moon did you i didn't know that under the, the category of all my rowdy friends have settled down, here we go. I've got some uh, new products to show you real quick at the end of all this. Let me get all this other stuff out of the way. Looky, looky, we got Kydex. I've made a few prototypes of these. What's so great about these, of course, is they're not leather. You can get them salty, wet, and wet, and they weigh less than dry leather. So these are lightweight. And the one thing you want to hear when you when you put kydex together is a nice little click when they click in so that's really great i'm working on two prototypes to send out to friends who have this model of pliers ah i'm really excited about this product i think it's gonna be great one other thing that, here's here's a couple other prototypes right here you'd have to specify if you want to order one if it's this is left hander so it goes on the left side and this is another right hander a little smaller trying to figure this all out this goes on the right side but anyway looped on the back for your belt and you can even tie in some some great bungee cord and you can tie off other things to that very cool opposed as opposed to this <laughs> can you i mean really come on really no come on really no no this is over this is over and one more thing to go with get these these are my specially made lanyards okay so they come with two open ends and one carabiner you get to close the ends into loops and tie them off any way you want you don't want me to do it i promise you and then you can uh, instead of having a dangly bungee cord you have this and it just hangs right on your right up here out of, under your shirt and it doesn't come out until you come out 20 inch extension so that's plenty to extend out like this do your cutting or do your remove hook removal and then they just go right back 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 into your pocket into your no your sheath your kydex sheath of course so that's that and in the background i am learning a lot about um, building rods so i'm starting with learning how to wrap rods so you can see me learning how to wrap rods and uh, while that's going on wrapping rods by the by the dozens for a company called uh, a new company called sawgrass in dallas um, i'm wrapping rods for those guys to learn this thing Fly mats selling like crazy still on the eastern seaboard. You know what they look like. And I don't have any sitting in here because they're all gone. But 
Get yourself a fly mat if you need organization. I see a lot of competition coming on. I appreciate that. I love the American way of competitive um, retail, competitive uh, business in America. Competition is king. So keep bringing it, people. I still got what I think is the best mat at the best price, and I will uh, put it up against any of those. None of them float, by the way. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. There's going to be a lot more coming up in the future. Uh, smaller pieces, since I'm indoors now, I can flip around and do these reports, or not reports, just do any kind of stories I want um, on a much more uh, rapid basis and just turn and turn and burn and churn. Um, you know, to my rowdy friends, I'm glad you settled down. I'm not giving you a hard time, but uh, I'll never settle down. You know that already. Um, and we've got stuff coming up with the uh, veterans group fly tying here in denton texas and denton county i'll bring you lots of details on that and i want you guys to have a great rest of your summer if you've got any of it left welcome back to school if you're just coming back you know if you're in denton texas a new student or whatever at unt or twu you want to learn to fly fish get a hold of me let me know and be sure and check out this new guy. I like this guy, DFW Fishing, on the YouTube, YouTube channel, DFW Fishing. I think he's got a brand new channel, and uh, he's a pretty cool cat. And he was more than willing to walk up to me and talk to me about um, his experiences and how I was wrong on the dam at Lake Ray Roberts. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Hope this all works out. This is it's a whole new concept to get back indoors for me, and I hate it, but here we are. Thank you.